New sinkholes are wrecking havoc on a Malden neighborhood. It's the result of a corroded metal drainage pipe buried underground, according to a newly released study looking to ways to fix the growing issue. Our Addie Hampton's live in the Forester Woods subdivision tonight, where neighbors say, Addie, it's been going on long enough. And Gordon, you can't hardly blame them when you take a look at this homeowner's front yard. This right here, a giant sinkhole. It is about eight to nine feet deep. It's been growing here for the better part of two years. I talked to this homeowner today, and he says he is scared that they're just one heavy rainstorm away from this washing out his front yard entirely. Somebody's mowing the lawn, and the, the ground just kind of opened up and almost sucked them in. Aureliano Morera never planned for a sinkhole, but it arrived in the front lawn of his Forrester yeah. Woods home around the same time his son was born. Now, two years later, he's still afraid to let his toddler in the yard. Seems like a small thing to have the, you know, just a kid running around the yard and me, you know, playing ball with him or something. But, you know, it's, it's, it's hard to do that now. His eight foot deep sinkhole continues to grow. The rain, he says, isn't their friend. Feels like every time it rains, it gets a little bit bigger. And down the street on Crepe Myrtle Court, there's yet another sinkhole that Jan Gundy watches grow from her front yard across the street. And they say this one was like eight feet deep, which is, you know, I have grandkids over there running around and it's kind of scary. Knowing this, the city of Malden commissioned a study of the drainage issues in January. The results are now back, revealing four different ways to replace or at least fix a metal drainage pipe that was put in the ground in the 70s. Engineers from the study recommend a fix costing $368,000, essentially replacing parts of the pipe and installing larger ones to handle the stormwater. The problem is the pipe runs across private yards, and state law prevents governments from spending money to fix Fix private property. We asked the city how they could fix the problem without saddling homeowners with the hefty bill. They said the homeowners would have to sign off granting easements that essentially make their yard public property until the project is fixed. Morera says he's ready to sign. Now, we talked to the city. They are going to be discussing these survey results at their council meeting coming up this evening. They're also going to be discussing or at least hearing from uh, public comment as well. And they tell me that coming up next month, they're going to be talking about the creation of policies so that they can better deal with these types of drainage issues that they say are happening all over the city moving forward. I'm reporting live tonight in Malden, Addie Hampton, 7 News.